Hi folks, welcome to Barb Makes Things. Today I make hats for my chess kings. Barb Makes Things! Okay, I know I said that the last video was the final one for the chess set, but this one is the last one, I think. I've been thinking about making crowns for the kings for a while now, since the beginning, really, but I put it off. Now the 3D printing professor has been commenting about it, so here we go, Joe. I made crowns, and they've even got traditional iconography. All this was just in time for the Fun-A-Day LA art show last weekend. I'll probably post the STLs on Umagine as soon as I get the time. Modeling the king's crowns. I went back into Fusion 360 and pulled in a reference picture. The canvas feature is helpful. I made two separate bodies for the hat. The base revolved and the cross on top extruded and then mirrored. Then joined them together when I was happy with them. Placing the hat on the king's head, I was able to adjust it to match and then cut out a hole for where it would sit on the king piece. Turned out a bit too round and with a too small cross. So back to Fusion for adjustments. A mistake that I made here and didn't realize immediately was that even though I expanded the walls inside the hat, it still wasn't big enough for the king's head. I should have just cut out the head again. By the time I figured this out, it was a little too late to change since I had an art show deadline. I'll fix this in the STLs before I upload them. Export STL. Let's try it again. There was a problem with the filament, and the cross at the top didn't work right. There was a little bit of a tangle right near the motor that pushes it in. One more time. Finally, fifth time's the charm. Pack it up and head back home to my work desk and pajamas. Now to adjust the holes manually. I used a knife and a Dremel for this, and this particular maneuver I wouldn't recommend unless you have a lot of experience and steady hands. Paint time. I gave them a base coat of chrome and painted one with a black wash. Blew them on and it's off to the art show. The Fun A Day LA show was in Santa Monica this year, and it was a pretty cool gathering of artists and their projects. Upcoming projects. Soon I plan to get back into a larger scale project, something I've been wanting to get back into for years, making self-playing musical instruments. Starting with a video about my hexachords, like this. And this one, which has been in the background the whole time. Interspersed, there may be a few smaller side builds, like an update to the Marble Run wall that I made last year. If you like this video, share it with a friend. If you didn't, share it with an enemy. But don't tell them which. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure to take a look at some of my other builds and how to's. There are a lot of them. Don't forget to subscribe, and if you click the little bell, you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you'd like to get videos a little early and support my channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.